What is going on guys? I'm Nick and today we're taking a look at another case for the iPhone 14 Pro and this is one that has been highly requested and also blew me out of the water because I'm some of you guys know I'm not a fan of the Aramid carbon fiber cases and this one was just let's get right into it and I'll go ahead and talk more as we get through it. So it's going to be the phone rebel flex series for the iPhone 14 pro 6.1 inch, as you can see right here. And you have an image of it right here on the package. And you can see you kind of have that pro camera module sort of embossed on the packaging as well. This side, same as the other top phone rebel. And at the bottom, just the R right here, taking a look at the back, as you can see, this is the rebel flex series which means the sides of your phone are going to be completely exposed. You can pause and read this if you would like to. All right, now let's get right into it. So this case comes in at right about $43 over on Amazon. I'm gonna link it down below as always. And here it is. You get that super nice carbon slash aramid fiber on the back and you get that Rebel branding at the bottom right in the center let's pull this out and we'll set the case to the side so we can see what else comes right here set this over there and as you can see since the sides of your phone which are going to be the stainless on the pro models right here they're going to be completely exposed vulnerable still gives you these side stickers so you can see which are just going to be clear little stickers that go on the sides of your phone to protect it from scratches and minimal sort of damage, things like that. And it's also gonna be some guide stickers to help you apply them. We're not gonna be applying these today just because I, I'm i always swapping out from different cases and I feel as when I put on regular cases that do cover the sides, it's gonna absolutely ruin these. But it's really nice to see that they provide you with these because if this were gonna be my daily case, my only case, I would definitely be applying those and then down here in this foam packaging you do get phone rebel screen protector which is super nice to see now i do and it's going to be a full coverage screen protector which i've always loved i love full coverage screen protectors and it's going to be your little applicator kit so you can see screen wipes this is what comes inside it's going to be your screen wipes cleaning chamois cloth and a dust remover and then it shows, make sure you take out your trash. All right. Also just have to mention that I love that this little tray is completely recyclable. It's like a really nice biodegradable cardboard. Love to see that. But actually about the screen protector, I wish they would give you some sort of alignment tray, something to help you put on the screen protector. I don't usually use them when I apply screen protectors, but I know a lot of people find it very helpful and that's really my only downside with that. Now, I don't want to complain too much because I know it's a free screen protector to pretty much. So just, just tossing that out there. But now here is the case, the phone rebel flex series, which surprised me. As you can see, there is no sides to the case. It is just your top and your bottom your your sides are going to be completely exposed and you get this really nice rubber texture on the inside which i'm sure helps with drops and then you have your magsafe right here this whole back is going to be rubber and then in the corners you have this blue sort of foam rubbery foam material which is going to definitely help protect you from drops now let's go ahead and grab the phone which is right here the iphone 14 pro in space black and let's just toss it in so this one, you don't really have to start with the volume side because there's nothing there to flip that mute toggle. And there it is. From this angle, you can't really tell that it's exposed on the sides, but it definitely is, as you can see right here. You can definitely also see how that stainless loves to catch fingerprints extremely quickly. So let's just wipe that down a little bit. And there it is. It looks perfect. It's going to get extremely fingerprinted again immediately, but at least you guys can get an idea. Just look at that. You can also see that 
the protection does only go over on the top and the bottom but it's not minimal protection it is super nice and it definitely gives you a ton of coverage so we can't really do the fit test like we normally would but if we check the bottom tiny bit of pull along that port if you go over to the edges there's no pull especially on the corners there's no pull whatsoever moving over to the top tiny bit of pull at the top only in the center if you work your way out to the edges no pull especially on the corners you're not pulling anything i guess we can kind of pull this yeah no you you can't pull that there's no pull it is extremely rigid yeah i'm trying super hard and you're not gonna be able to pull that you do get a little bit of flex branding right there alongside the rebel branding down here and we can't really test buttons it is going to be the solid buttons on the phone and it is super easy to get to that mute toggle obviously there's a nice beveled edge which kind of rounds itself out over and helps it feel seamless which i really love because if you hold your phone like this it almost feels like there's nothing on your phone and i'm a big fan of that i love the minimal case sort of scene i love running minimal cases and here it's like you're getting all the protection of a normal case without running or dealing with the bulkiness of one so let's go ahead and take a look at some camera protection before i forget you do have a pretty decent screen lip screen lip you do have a decent camera lip right there so let's check out the wobble test pretty much no wobble down there and this case actually wobbles an extremely minimal amount hopefully you can tell there's almost no wobble there's a tiny bit i'm sure you can see it in the shadow right there but compared to some other cases almost no wobble and you still get a ton of camera protection right there also you can hopefully you can see that there's raised corners on the back of the phone and i think that is what's mainly helping with there being no wobble there's a raised lip on every corner but that also helps you from scratching this air mid slash carbon fiber which i have to admit is probably the grippiest carbon we've seen on the channel so far really love the feel of this one and we're talking lip, lip protection on the front you have a very decent amount obviously there's none in the centers but if you look at the top like this you do get a ton of lip protection just look at that super decent lip right there and since it's raised here and at the bottom you can still just look at that you can still place your phone screen down and not have to worry about any kind of scratches or anything like that so this case while giving you an open feel is going to allow you to throw it around and beat it up as you would if you had it in a tougher case in a bulkier case and something even better about this is it has magsafe every case needs magsafe we already know this and we're about to test that starting with the spigen omag ring as always which is a foam grip slash stand snap it on as you can see it caught it real easily and i had heard that phone that phone rebel had very strong magnets but I don't want to believe it until we tested it and it looks like those people were not lying. These magnets are nothing to joke around about. As you can see, I'm shaking my phone and it is not going anywhere. Let's try tapping on it. We're just beating it. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. I would definitely trust these magnets with this stand right here. Now we're going to test wireless charging as well as a little bit more strength right here snap this on immediately starts charging as you can see and okay i'm literally holding the phone and shaking it from the magnet itself not the strongest we've seen i i don't think it's the strongest but definitely better than other cases we've tested by far this absolutely beats some of the other cases we've used i would definitely trust these magnets look at that i'm shaking this with a battery pack and it is not going anywhere probably will fall off if you drop it but yeah definitely trust it with that one and 
the wallet test. Snap this on, picks it up just fine, and it sticks on super well. Shake it. Yeah, this wallet is not going anywhere. I would definitely trust this case with my wallet. And I almost forgot, let's take a look at the top. Since the top and bottom are completely covered, it is gonna look a little different over here than it does on the sides. You can see you get a little bit of Rebel branding right there. And the bottom, you get some very nice cutouts, really unique looking cutouts as well. You get an oval shaped cutout for the lightning port. I'd love to see a rectangle, but you already know that. And then you get accurate speaker and microphone cutouts right there, which are a very unique and pretty cool shape. All right, so I'll give you guys one last quick look around and then we'll call it a day. Starting with our camera protection right here. See, we have a pretty decent camera lip right next to that flex branding, which is super nice to see. And the back. And then moving over to the front. Again, no lip in the center, but super nice screen lips on the top and the bottom. Go ahead and grab this focus right there. Just look at that right there. Super nice lips. And then that fit is perfect. Now we have no buttons to test since they're open. We can take a look at the top one more time. And then the bottom. So that's gonna be it for this one guys. Super like highly requested this case from a ton of you guys. I saw this one blowing up in the comments and I had been excited to look at it. I have to admit it definitely, it took me by surprise. But that's it for this one, guys. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you wanna see more of me, more case videos, accessory videos, be sure to subscribe as well. It helps me out a ton and the channel's doing way better than I could have ever expected. And it's all because of you guys. If you have any recommendations, anything like that, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. I do try my best to respond to all comments. I know I slack off a little bit, but I am getting there. I will get to you. It's just taking me a little longer than usual. So, just enjoy yourself guys and I'll see y'all in the next one. No way I'm leaving this thing behind. <laughs> I'll see you guys out there.